Hi and welcome to another video from First in Architecture, a uh, CAD tip tutorial. Um, in this video I'm going to introduce you to um, simple dimensions. Um, specifically we're going to look at three of the most commonly used dimensions um, and then I'm going to show you a little bit as to how to uh, modify them and then finally I'm going to show you how to set up your own dimension styles which you can use in your own drawings. So, let's get started. Uh, here I've just got a simple shape which demonstrates the different type of dimensions you can have. Linear dimensions are basically horizontal and vertical dimensions here. So all of these ones that I'm hovering over now are linear dimensions. Then we have aligned dimensions and what these do is they are aligned parallel to the line that you're dimensioning, um, which is quite useful when you've got awkward angles and things like that. So. Um, that's what you use those for. And then finally, obviously, we have the um, angle dimension, which just we can dimension the angle um, just like this one here. So I'm going to show you how to draw these. I've got this shape here, so I'm going to set up, first of all, we're going to type in the command for the linear dimension. So I'll start typing dim and then lin for linear, dim lin. You can see it's coming up with two options. I'm going to press enter there, and then it's now asking me to specify um, the, the first extension line. So I'm going to click on this snap point here, and I'm going to click on this snap point here, and then I'm going to pull away from where the line is uh, to a reasonable distance. So I'm just going to click there, and that's the dimension in place. So I'm going to do that again. Now, because I've just written in that command and I've not done anything since writing that command in, I'm just going to press spacebar and it's automatically going to choose the dim linear command. So I'm just going to click on this corner here, to this corner here, pull away, and there we go. Um, and once more, I'll type it in this time actually, D-I-M for dim start typing in linear. You could type in the whole word, but it kind of automatically knows what you're going to say, so it just saves a little bit of time. Press enter, click on the first part of the line, click on the second part of the line, and pull away, and click. Um, so for the align dimension, I'm going to do exactly the same. D-I-M for dimension. And this time I'm going to start typing aligned, A-L. You can see it's already selected uh, dim aligned there, so I don't really need to type anything further. Press enter, gonna click on the first corner there, second corner there, and again pull away. And you can see the difference here is pulling away at the angle of the um, of the line. Now if we did this with a dim linear, I'll show you the difference. So I'm gonna click again on that corner, I'm gonna click on that corner, and you can see as we pull away, it's not measuring the actual distance of the line. Um, this also is useful at times, you can use this um, but it's just good to know the two options of how you can measure that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do an angle dimension. So I'm going to start again, dim, start typing angle. You can see all I needed to write there was an, and it's already come up with dim angular, and press enter. Now I'm going to select the first line, and then I'm going to select this line, and I'm asking for it to give me this angle here, which obviously is 90 degrees. Um, I'll just get rid of that there and we'll do it on this angle here so dim angle select the first line select the second line and pull away and click when you have the angle where you want it to be notice I can also pull that way but it's still giving the same angle so there we go okay so let's move on and have a little look at how we can modify these dimensions um, if I just zoom in here, let's say for example this text is clashing um, and we want to move the text out of the way. If you start dragging, notice that as I move the cursor it's letting me move the text and the line is moving as well. So let's just click. You can see I've moved the line and the text into a new position. This can be quite useful if you've got a, a complex drawing and you want to specify exactly where you want your text to be etc etc. Now let's say we have uh, extended a line over here like this and we now want this uh, dimension line to 
move to the end of the line over here. Now, one thing we should do is just delete it and redraw our, our dimension. Um, the other thing we can do is actually click on the grip point here and literally drag it along to the end of the line where we want it to sit. So that's a, a quick and easy way that you can just alter your, your dimensions if you need to. I'm going to move this back down and I'm going to move this across. See how easy it is just to move your text around and, and make the dimensions work for you just by doing simple grip tool editing. Another quick and easy edit tool for your dimensions is if you want to override the text. Um, let's say for example you have a dimension that you've not yet decided exactly what that is going to be so you just want to say for example dimension to be confirmed so let's click on this dimension here. Make sure you have your uh, properties inspector tool palette open um, and if I just start scrolling down and you see all the different settings that apply to the dimension, which of course you can experiment with and tweak. Um, but if we keep scrolling down, you notice we get to the text section. And right at the bottom of the text uh, box, we see text override. So I'm just going to write in here um, dimension TVC. And you can see that's changed up here. The uh, text that we've just written in has now positioned itself on our dimension. This can be quite useful and also if you wanted to round up a figure and things like that you can just enter it into that box down there. Okay so so far this is all fairly straightforward but I get a lot of people saying that they find it really difficult to get their dimension text to show up or things don't look right or it comes out really tiny um, and this is where dimension styles come in. Um, once you set up your dimension styles you can use them again and again so I really recommend doing this. So let's have a look at how this works. Um, I'm going to type in dim style, press enter, and this brings up our dimension style manager. You can see here I've got one dimension style set up, um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click modify so I can show you the settings that are currently in place. So this brings up a box, and all of anything to do with your dimension you can alter and amend here. Um, whether it's amending the style of the dimension tick, um, you can have different sides and then the different sizes of the tick, um, things like that. So you can use these to set up exactly how you want it to show. You can show your different um, text style, where you want the text to be placed on the line. Um, so you can go through and have a look at these and edit them according to how you want them to be. So. If I just cancel that, come back to the style manager, what we can do here is we can set up a new style and this will set up as a copy of the um, existing dimension style that I have there. And it's asking me do I want to start with the existing style, which I do, and I'm going to tweak it slightly just so that we can see a difference. Um, so I'm going to click continue and what I'll do is we'll go in and just amend the ticks so that we can see a difference. Um, I'll go for this right angle tick here and I'm going to make it um, much bigger. So let's try that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change anything else for the time being. I'm going to say OK. So we can see here, here's our copy. Now what I'm going to do um, in order to sort of activate this every time I use the dimension tool, is I'm going to go to the little um, settings uh, drop down menu and I'm going to say set current. So you can see I've got this the copy selected and I'm going to say set current. And what that does is that just makes sure that that is the one that's going to be used every time I use the dimension tool. So I close that and I'm going to take a dimension um, back onto this square here. Um, so I'm just going to do a simple dim align. And I'm going to select this corner here to this corner here. Pull out and you can already see it has the different tick arrow um, to the previous ones we've been using. Um, and any time I now use the dimension, it will use this style. But if I want to change that and go back to the original style, all you need to do is dim, style, enter, bring up your, your uh, dimension style manager, click back on the previous one that I was using, and set current. And notice again, if you want to change any of these at any time, you can click modify and amend it as you wish. 
you can remove by clicking the minus button and obviously add new ones by clicking the plus button. Um, so that's really useful. Set up your dimension styles, do that boring task once and then use them again and again and again and you can use your dimensions really quickly and it will be zero hassle. So I hope this little tutorial has been helpful to you. Um, check out our other tutorials on YouTube and on the website and uh, see you soon.